A 3-2 set on winner's finals. But now Otani not only has to get revenge in one set, but in two sets. Must send Kuano to loser's bracket before he can actually eject him out of the tournament. So he needs to win one set to send him to losers and another set of three out of five to be able to claim the champion, being the champion of CPT Japan Online. I already know a lot of people just salivating at the thought of seeing two Lukes in grand finals all over social media. I know everybody's <laughs> typing up their paragraphs as we speak. As we speak. We're seeing the twit longer uh, already being showcased. But in, in all, all jokes aside, this is going to be such a good match because you get to see like the intricate chess play between the two. We're going to see a lot of the, the previous matches coming into play to form different strategies yeah. and different approaches, right? I think that's the, the best thing about it in terms of the, the grand scheme. Like, sure, we're getting a loop mirror match, but it's not just any mirror match. It's literally a run back from winner's finals. And I think that's the most uh, exciting thing to me is being able to see that storyline play out, whether right, or not right. Otani has what it takes to take him down, take Kawano down in two straight sets. Yeah, what's well, going to be interesting. I mean, it's, it's always weird when you see these run backs like this after winner's finals. A lot of times you see uh, the person who lost the first time come back and then just win that first set and you can see it, how it adds the nerves. But then sometimes the guy who won and it was a close match in winner's finals, all of a sudden he's like, wait, I, I beat him before. I know what I'm doing now. Yeah. And then just rattles off a quick win. I'm wondering if Kuano's going to be able to do that. And again, Kuano's got to be feeling good about himself. He yes. knows what it takes to be a champion. He's won EVO on, live on stage before. So this man has nerves of steel. Deal. Truly, truly. You have another factor coming in for Otani. At least he's still hot off the True. press. I think he's uh, coming in with that advantage, at least that mentality of having the advantage, I guess. What I wanted to say is he's still in that mode of <laughs> bodying someone like Akira in the fashion that he did it. He's like, all right, my brain, all the blood is flowing. Right? Everything is ready. My <laughs> my, my, act, my, my uh, reactions should be on point. My strategy should be, be working out against uh, Kawano. I feel like I can whiff punish God at this point, right? Right. <laughs> Maybe he'll have that type of mentality going into it. All that momentum in that mentality from a win like this against Akira, it could play out in the favor of Otani. Yeah, so let's see what happens here. And again, like you said, dude, when you win like that, I mean, I wonder if he popped off, you know? Like, I wonder if he yeah. was just like, God, let's go! And now, to hear that. and now he's just completely raring to go here in this matchup. And again stoicism right here displayed by both players not even a change of the emote here we go otani immediately Damn. goes in there and kuano sending ah. a message dude these two are sending messages like back and forth right now oh boy all right kuano says nope you know what i don't care how it's oh cool. he tried to go for the tick throw but otani actually got hit by the yeah. jump right kick and kuano with too much advantage on that Wow. Wow. Interesting. Gonna spend the level one here to try to get some uh, what? damage, but this guy's a nut. Kuano, I mean, I think what Kuano is trying to do right now, and this is actually a really smart tactic for him. I, I would, you know, before the coming in, because I wanted to say Kuano's been playing very careful, very, you know, uh, measured, and you know, footsies, and and now he starts off this first round by going absolutely crazy because Otani's probably coming in here thinking similar to what I was, right? Like, oh, he's gonna be tall. I need to figure out how to open him up. And then oh. Kawana was just calling out shimmies, waking up ODDP. Yeah, he's playing pretty aggressively. Right. Trying to throw a different look at him. Oh, that's a look and a half. That fierce to clash, four Ow. throw now. Look at the damage on that, do it oh. again. Yeah, it was a hard knockdown last time, so no back roll. And so he was able just to go for the slow loop mid screen. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Beast mode. Whoop. Not going to be enough to kill, though. Otani has to... I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. A little taste of Kuano's medicine. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. And that might be a little bit of Otani still kind of feeling himself after that Akira match right there. <laughs> Drive rush all you want. I'm just gonna DP you right out of it. And look at this. He gets the neutral war right there with the couching strong. And yeah, smart. That's three versus two right there. And keeps uh Kuano in the corner. But that's the great crouch medium punch buffer into the medium knuckle to land and secure that level three. And the burnout as well, because Otani had been spending all that meter. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he, he actually got 
got him, he got him, he got him. It wasn't anything like super significant, but I'm glad it worked out for the first time. <laughs> That's all it was. He's aimed for that at least three times, and yeah, three times uh -huh. and got stuck every time. But yeah, Kawano, he's gonna make short work of this. Has plenty of drive gauge left, just enough to make that trip into the next game. Game one going towards Kawano. Right, that just means Kawano is two games away right now. Two games away. Oh, mm, just got the guy that reaches too. Yeah, have to start up with the stand blast as well. Otani not really able to stop any of the drive rushes now, at least. Or the first one of, of potentially mm -hmm. many. Excuse me. That was perfect parry there, but didn't go for anything right away. Try to sneak in with that drive rush suppressor again. Oh, big stop sign for the medium kick. Oh no, he wasn't ready for that one. Just got caught by the draw, draw drive rush. Mm -hmm. Waiting for that. Forward throw. Punish counter, by the way. Auto damage. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> True stereo and Kawano <laughs> getting another win here. Going <laughs> up one game, one round. I was just thinking to myself, the two sand blasts flash and no one's around to hear it. Does it still make noise? <laughs> Crazy. I mean, of course, I mean, I, I, have you seen the noise on Twitter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Otani, spending the level two, getting a nice start here for this round. Decent damage here against Kwano and corner carry. Oh no, and Kwano just jumps right out when he threw out a standing heavy punch. And that low forward is everything for Otani. You get the carry, you get the damage, opting for the advantage of the, ooh, the tackle, but no, sir, Kwano. Getting the back low defensively. Ooh, nice punish error. And trying to get out of oh, there, but man. Guado didn't touch a pun it. Didn't punch her. Touch a button. There he is. <laughs> James is back. Ugh. Back into the sand as well. Kawano, level three, letting it rip. Not quite a burnout situation, but Kawano, plenty of driving the tackle. Not up. Okay. Not okay. up. Tackle for the advantage again. To force that. Oh, Press he got the light. Uh, is he going to go for the level uh, one? 100%. Yeah. Uh-uh, uh, uh, uh Vulcan yeah. Blast. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust myself to do, like, the fireball into the heavy weapon of that situation because right, of the skills yeah. involved. So very, very smart to secure it with the level one. Otani tying it all up. Juano also, uh, not too bad, right? Looking at the, the gauge below. What? That was sick. He got to link Wait, that? Which is, what, I, what, what did he link that off of? Sandblast. Oh, my God, really? I, I mean, I know we've seen Guile do that a million times, but... Character school. Luke. Oh, oh no, no, he's not close enough. Remember, we saw that before. Oh, and again, calling out the shimmy with the crouching medium kick. And now, Kuano trying to get. Trying to cut into that tiny life lead now. Single button yet, Kawano has okay, been yeah. locked out so far. And again, that's that's zero in burnout. So mm -hmm. both of them are always gonna go for that four frame button. That's why they trade after that every time. Oh, oh you're dead! Oh, 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 he's got the level two. Oh, oh. I lied, I'm sorry. Kill. I looked at the wrong bar. Kill. I looked at the wrong bar. Kill. No, he's alive, it's fine. I looked at the wrong bar. My mistake. I thought he had critical art. Oh! Jesus. Oh, he's Chip. He just went for the standing heavy punch. So that's fine. I think he would have died anyway. Yeah, he yeah. He yeah. done like a heavy punch into like medium. No, actually, heavy punch into level three raw. It yeah, yeah, just yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. That would have been it right there. So okay, Otani on the board here. I thought Kawano had had level three because oh, of where he was standing, and right. I saw level three. Then I saw like the activation of super. I'm like, oh, wait, Dude, he's on the other side. I mean, I always have that left right dyslexia, so Man. I never remember whose meter is whose. So I get at least one per weekend. Even okay. when I play online, I'll, I'll, I'll always get the meters mixed up. I have to look every single time. If there's like a sequence where I get a combo, it's like look at the meter, look <laughs> at the bar. Like it's always like there's always like the peripheral check, right. check drive gauge and check the bar. I don't care about the life bar. I just want to do like right, yeah, yeah, check yeah, every yeah. single time. But mm -hmm. Kawano, man, he had the he had the right intentions right with the level two. It just wasn't enough damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, exactly. Just, just, just shy. And that allowed Otani to find that victory right over there, so. I still but can't again, believe you got the counter hit sandblast to link into the crouch. Dude, jab. like I said, I mean, so I understand sick. when Guile cool does that thing. because he recovers off of his sonic boom so fast, but I did not know that Luke could recover so fast or that sandblast just causes that long enough of a hit. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go, Kuana. That's the up button, I think, the shot Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I love it. I love it.
I don't know why that feature amuses me so much, but it's great. Oh, but Otani, you know what? Great start here. Again, winner's finals was three to two. So close between these two players. And Otani looking great here with the start. Has the corner position, checks the forward dash. And now here we go, throw in the corner to go for another one. He does. Yeah, gets him to spend the meter. Excellent start so far from Otani. He's gonna be taking a little bit of a break, not. Okay, I was gonna too say. Too far, too far. Not gonna be overzealous with it, but the drive rush, not too bad of an option either way. Medium kick could be enough if it's, a, if it's a counter hit. Actually, maybe normal hit, perhaps. That's why Kawano is so meticulous about his spacing, going back and forth, trying to tease the oh, idea, and that's enough. Yeah, and so he did the drive rush cancel in the light, and so I'm not sure if Kawano was trying to interrupt in the middle or something like that. Didn't work out, and just got clipped. Tani now with the potential to take a lead in this first set. Excellent backdash too, especially after the plus frame scenario that Kawano presented. The crouching medium punch, you'd have to guess. <laughs> See the crouching medium punch? Wow, wow, interesting. Was he trying to catch a sandblast, perhaps? Spencer, back throw, interesting. I'm also very surprised how little both have been punished for their own sandblast mm -hmm. with like perfect parry drivers forward. Right. Again, sandblast is one of its most powerful things is that it's, it's such a subtle movement, the startup of it. There's no noise. Or, oh, what boy. A for the advantage, just press the button. Otani, forced to retreat. Oh, oh that no. is a huge input error. That was. You're actually dead. It's definitely supposed to be a sandblast, and Kawano is definitely looking at his joystick right now. Hitbox. Hitbox. Oh, you're not right. dead. Oh, my God, you're still alive. What? I told you, when I'm here, I mess it up for everybody. That was the in-game commentator. <laughs> Man, but still, Otani. Two to place. one. Yeah. Two to one. Two fortunate circumstances, by the way, right? Yeah. He had the big input error against Kawano, or sorry, from Kawano to get the big punish. And even after that, got the burnout still and was like, you know what? All right, I'm, I'm cool. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. I got to finish it now. Yeah, and he just threw out the standing medium kick because I think Kawano knew if he had blocked like a bufferable button, he was going to die. Mm -hmm. So he was probably hitting buttons at that point. So right. good choice by Otani to use the medium kick with the range. Give me the reset. Let me see that happen. To make Kawano sweat a little bit here. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's a valid tactic. It's a very valid excuse to throw out that drive impact yeah. to mash if you decide to go for it and Ow. mess up the timing of a flash button. Oh. Did he touch a button? No, this is going to hurt. Oh, we can do it again. Back on house, crouching fierce. Do it one more time for the max damage. Chris Wong, is that you? Dude, the craziest thing about that combo, the reason why it does so much damage is heavy button, heavy button, heavy button, heavy button, heavy button. Yes. It's just all heavy <laughs> buttons. There's no scaling yes. in that at all. What's, I mean, the, outside it feels of the standard, great. standard scaling. It feels so good to hit. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it does. I've only been on the receiving end of it, so I wouldn't be able to say. Play loose. <laughs> we welcome you with open arms. Oh, it caught maybe a low medium kick, I think. It was oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah, now Otani gifting an uh, execution error to Kawano. Punish counter as well. Perhaps a flash on the parry if you can get to hear the audio cue. Ooh, Ooh and he burned out. him out. He burned him out, too. And he's just going to go into the level three. Yeah, why not? Do you force the level two out of Otani with a drive impact here? I don't think you need to, to be honest with you. Ooh, not quite enough to kill this yet. Oh, yeah, you can't test Kuano's DP. His DP is so clean. We saw that against the Akira yeah. earlier. We can't blame him, right? Especially after the chip damage you would receive from an OD Sandblast. You would think, maybe anticipate that. So Otani went for the jump for that exact reason. Right. Two to two. Two to two. This is tournament game for Kawano to make it into Capcom Cup 10. Can Otani extend this into another set? It is looking great for Kawano Jesus. so far. Back to back punish counter throws. That's 4,000, that's 40 percent right there. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. What a clean start. Tournament point now for Kawano <laughs> off of a very big onslaught of a round <laughs> from that barrage of throws, really. Yeah, but Otani, he was able to clutch it out against Akira after that almost reverse. Oh, my God. That standing heavy punch just looked like it hurt so much. Yeah, not going to let him get out for free, but still does get out. 
That's the important thing. Oh, no, too far, but no punish. But it doesn't matter, still gets the hit. Look at these meter situation right here. Both of them so low on drive gauge. What? Punish counter the landing, and no he's gonna way. burn him out. He's gonna burn him out, and he's gonna gain a bunch of meter back himself. This is such a terrible position for Otani now. Kawano on the verge. Trade again, yep, they're both gonna do it. Kawano couldn't make it happen with a single sequence, a single button. And that perfect parry could have been everything for Kawano because look at the amount of drive gauge he has left. A single Ooh. opening against Otani will get it for him. And he gets it! Ladies and gentlemen, Kawano is your CPT Japan champion, taking it down against Otani yet again. Kawano is your champion! And he just does it. By getting the drive rush, crouch medium kick out of nowhere. That is, again, one of those things that Kawano has not done a lot of during this match. They have been so careful with the neutral against each other. And then at the very end, Kawano busts out the drive rush, crouching medium kick out of nowhere, catching Otani standing. And there it is, Kawano, former EVO, reigning EVO Street Fighter V champion. And now your Japan representative for Capcom Cup 10. Put another Luke on the board, baby, no matter <laughs> what. No matter what. It was either Kawano or Otani, but either way, very, very, very skilled competitors to throw into oh. the ring. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, definitely some execution errors on Kawano's part. But again, like I said, he's a champion. He knows what it takes. He won't let something like that get him down. And there it was, that just raw drive rush, crouching medium kick, catching Otani. Like I said, I don't remember him doing that that often. I don't Not know often, if my no. I don't know mm. if my memory is just wrong on that one. But there it is. And wow, Kawano really cementing himself as one of the best players in Japan, if not maybe the best at right now. I mean, going out, winning out of 925 players, being the reigning Street Fighter V champion from EVO, this guy, this Kawano is just absolutely so strong. You know, it's, it's, it's so wild because no matter who steps up to the champion spot, who actually like whoever, whoever wins, no matter what, you could say that this person had accomplished almost like the near impossible and taken down every killer imaginable in Japan. And like that's from like a world's perspective, these guys are all world class players. <laughs> All of these guys. Literally all, all of, of these, these guys. guys. And yes. Yeah, no matter who is going to be the champion, you could still say these guys happen to almost do the impossible. Yeah. Uh, and so Kawano, again, you know, he's part of the new generation for a long time during Street Fighter V. It was really kind of like him and Higuchi, you know, Nauman, and a couple mm -hmm. of other guys really carrying that torch for the young players. And at this point in time, you know, I, I think that that storyline, you know, I've talked about this mm -hmm. storyline a lot. You know, Bon Chan traveling around with Red Bull in uh, in Japan to try to promote esports, right. you know, uh, Shinobism, you know, from uh, Momochi and Choco Blanca trying to show raise younger, the young guns. Yeah, yeah. You raise the young guns. And it always has been about, you know, you know, can we get these young players to the same level that these veterans are at? And I don't think that's a question anymore. I think right. we've been seeing this very clearly that the young players are very, Man, very strong in beautiful. Japan. Yeah. So great job. Great job. It could have been anybody, right? Like it, when you talk to all your other uh, friends in the community about like their fantasy brackets, it's truly like a toss up in mm -hmm. our, from mm -hmm. even just looking at our top 16, even looking at our top eight. I personally thought, you know, Otani's been on fire. He's been playing in this, in this, type of zone where he looks invincible. I thought he was going to make it all the way. Uh, I was thinking Kazunoko, he could have that run yeah. back of making it into like Capcom Cup the way he did in the first year of Street Fighter V and being like a, a, a phenomenal player too. But man, it's, 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 there's so many different storylines to look at. Yeah. I, I did not really expect Kawano to really shine the way that he did unexpectedly <laughs> with such a, uh, with, with such dominance against someone yeah. like Otani, right? I think uh, obviously we, we we crown Kawano as like one of the one of the goats right now for the the younger generation. But man, this was such a tough ask, dude. 
I mean, I want to talk about some of this stuff over here, but you know, obviously that's what the Chipotle unwrap section is for. Oh, but before yes. we get over there, just remember we're not done yet. Remember this weekend was supposed to be U.S. Midwest. U.S. Midwest is going to be postponed for.